Okay, guys. Um, hi, lecture five. Uh, and already, this is my second run for the video. I was trying to find how to calculate the z value, and uh, it's actually simple. I remember. So, in the data gathering phase, which is phase three, we have the sampling, and for the sampling, we have the sampling size. And to determine the sampling size, we need the value of z and p and the error. So احنا, what we do is we choose the confidence interval. From the confidence interval, we can find the z-value. And the p is usually 0 0.5. Okay? And the error is usually plus, three, uh, plus minus 3%. So, um, هنا عندنا we have, uh, let's say that uh, z-alpha over 2 is 99% confidence. هلا احنا احنا ما عندنا z alpha over 2 but this is z alpha over 2 um, so we have for example when the confidence is 99% uh, alpha is 1 minus 0.99 and we have the alpha is 0 0.01 so alpha over 2 is 0 z uh, alpha over 2 is 0 0.005 and then we should uh, find the critical value for z alpha over 2 from the table. So for 99% we have 2.576. So this is correct. Um, And actually, we could find this value from the table. So, press second and vars on your T calculator. Okay, so, hi, hi, tell me how to the calculator. How to get the table? Okay, so and I don't think in Eugene will imtihan the values. So we can just uh, uh, copy these and and يعني, memorize these numbers. Uh, يعني, okay, and uh, if we want, uh, uh, we have a finite population because this is for infinite. Obviously, the Z table is for infinite. If we have a finite, then we should add this this term. Um, so we have the standard deviation is one of the characteristics to find within a sample. It's uh, how far away the samples are from the mean. And this is the formula. The confidence level is just uh, uh, how much of these uh, samples are within uh, two standard deviations from the mean. So if they are far away from the mean, then we have a smaller confidence level and hakaza okay so the objectives of the sampling is discovery okay and uh, we have okay so we want to uncover fraud طبيعي, that's what we do this would typically be followed by more intensive investigation and we have unit sampling is the tester uh, wants to determine a characteristic or value of the population within a degree of confidence. Okay. So if I want to if I want uh, to find the statistics of the population, but I don't want to take the um, all of the population line. I don't have time and resources. So what I do is I take the t statistics of a sample and uh, I have a confidence interval dip that depends on the sample size. So, so we, can, we can either find fraud or we can find some characteristics. Um, sampling types, we have uh, probabil probability samples which is selected at random 
and we have judgment samples which is biased so we have sampling techniques uh, we have simple sampling and systematic sampling simple sampling is a uh, so these are sampling techniques uh, both are used for probability samples yani so probability samples is the random one so sampling techniques for the probability samples uh, we have a random number generator and we have a systematic sampling which where we divide the population into sampling intervals and use the same sample within each interval طيب, sampling and security testing ف, uh, uh, first of all we have representative testing so representative testing it's in many information systems there exist several components that are replicated so representative testing we have replication um, it would select a test representation from each group so we have a test representation from each group uh, this is the representative sampling approach and for example two file servers two web servers one email server 50 workstations um, it saves time and money but we have system components are different okay لانه it's a replication خلنا نشوف approach 2 to sampling and security testing so we have selected sampling selected sampling i think is the biased one it selects areas in, uh, to test based on belief that may contain vulnerabilities belief of vulnerabilities okay it might be good uh, uh, because it's more likely to find vulnerabilities <coughs> and it saves uh, time but it's dangerous if done incorrectly okay so for example we choose specific uh, workstations from different departments we go to the random sampling which is approach three and it has no bias but it's difficult to choose truly in a random sample so it has it needs very good uh, statistic skills. خلصنا من sampling part هلا بنشوف the Riot method for data gathering. Okay, so uh, data gathering is the most labor-intensive phase. We have the uh, review, interview. إيه كنت حابة أسوي إنه Riot يعني. Uh, uh, review interview inspect observe test so we have uh, it breaks down the method breaks down the data gathering process into different approaches so this is useful لأنه بتسهل علينا العملية and uh, بتسهل علينا العملية وكمان بتنظمها وبتحافظ على ال coverage فبتعطينا organization وبتعطينا management فبيكون عنا tasks are موزعة بطريقة أحسن و we have uh, uh, less effort and uh, we have uh, better coverage okay so this is the uses of the technique طيب ensures that the appropriate coverage of, of, of the threats uh, and safeguards when not all riot approaches are considered the assessment will likely fail to uncover key vulnerabilities 
project management in it enables the definition and management of multiple tasks and within the data gathering phase each task can be assigned to different resources and progress can be tracked individually helps to organize data gathering effort into tasks and are easier to plan assign perform and track هلا عندنا الابروتشز طبعا it comes from the name we have the review uh, the review it بتحكي uh, عن ال policies procedures network maps site layouts backup schedules security awareness training material كل هاي are reviewed interview key personnel so we have the ability to perform their duties um, uh, we have their performance on duties and their we have the concerns they have with current security controls okay inspection بتكون عبارة عن visitor control من حافظ على مين بدخل ومين بطلع we check the configuration files we check the smoke detectors we inspect uh, the industry standards with checklists of common vulnerabilities okay uh, observe personal behavior observe uh, بيكون عندنا protective security protective force visitors and others determine the effectiveness of corresponding uh, controls test is both logical and uh, physical we have the firewalls The importance of security documents. Um, uh, so uh, many security engineers have a tech background, but they fail to understand the importance of policies and procedures. So this is why uh, security documents are important. And security policies and procedures are cornerstone of information security. Uh, the absence of solid, complete, and articulate policies can be the root of many vulnerabilities. Okay, so this is number one, two, this is number one. And effective information security policies can clarify the security objectives of an organization. So it can clarify the security objectives of an organization. What are the documents to request? The assessment team should request any document that may contain information related to administrative uh, security control. So the document is for administrative security control. Documentation may vary greatly between different organizations. The team must specify clearly and uh, the required documents through examples and description of the contents. So, yeah. so let's digest the information and uh, specify clearly. Off. Many documents may be required to cover the contents, contents of a single policy. Okay, for example, a single acceptable use policy versus email use policy plus software use policy plus network use policy okay I'm not going to say that policy review within regulated industries so um, okay so احنا هلا خلصنا لا احنا هلا بدأنا بال policy review okay لانه الريوت لا لا wait Okay, hi, this term. Let's understand this term. So, policy review 
Many organizations within regulated industries have policies that dictated to them from others. مثلا عنا هذه الاندس هذه ال ال policy. In such cases, it may not be necessary to review these security policies. They are already considered adequate for the threat environment. The assessment team must have a member familiar with the information security requirements for uh, the specific industry, uh, what is covered and what is not. تمام هلا بنشوف الريوت اول شيء الريوت بتم انه بنسوي ريفيو ريفيو اوف ذا دوكيمنت بعدين بنسوي ريفيو اوف ذا كلاريتي بعدين يعني هذه ال is it clear if it is then we review the for content is it complete is it consistent so احنا we want to review um, uh, if we review for two things for clarity is it clear and the second is for content is it complete then we see for consistency طيب. طيب. and we go through all the documentations if it's not clear we have to indicate the non-clear areas if it's missing uh, then we indicate any missing elements and we indicate any inconsistencies and we summarize the comments and individual documents and then we provide comments on document set هلا اول شيء عندنا ال R so عندنا ال document review اول شيء we review documents for clarity uh, then we have to review documents for content uh, it has to be complete and it has to be um, complete and correct and we ha it has to have consistency and we indicate coverage and uh, of expected elements then hi it's really important we have to record the gaps What is the difference between the current document and the set document set and the expected one? طيب. هلا ال completeness uh, review هاي عنا completeness review. إيه. اوكي هلا خلصنا الريفيو بنعمل آه، الجاب ايدنتيفيكيشن آه، مثلا عندنا الجاب ايدنتيفيكيشن آه، مثلا بنشوف هون في عندنا جاب وهكذا في الريليفنت بوليسي وهي الاكسبكتد اوكي هلا خلصنا الريفيو هلا بنشوف الانترفيو آه الانترفيو آه لازم يكونوا آه من واحد آه خبير آه they are performed with key staff members for الهدف منها آه confirmation of threat identification asset valuation and critical system identification we confirm also security procedure execution we measure security awareness among the staff we identify vulnerabilities findings should not be based solely on interview process لأنه بالinterview دائما في كتير mistakes or misinterpretations الانترفيور لازم تكون آه الافضل تكون وان اون وان بس اتس ديفيكالت ريكوايرز سكيلز 
فبالتالي بدنا نختار an experienced interviewer عشان ما يكون في no conflict of interest between the interviewer and the interviewee we should put the interviewee at ease now we prepare for the interview so what we prepare for the interview is we determine the subjects that we want to interview about so we want to cover all the subjects and the relevant areas because we have a time constraint then we determine the interviewing team so it's selected by the project leader it's best to be one-on-one -on -one. and to help the interviewer the team could consider the inclusion of a transcriber uh, review relevant documents uh, obtain an understanding of the interviewee's position responsibilities concerns and likely questions هاي قبل قبل الانترفيو كمان لازم نعمل determine objective of the interview ايش الهدف فمثلا للstaff members uh, we want to determine their security awareness أما for key personnel we want to uh, نتأكد إنه كل شيء is performed uh, the uh, everything is executed uh, properly and identify the vulnerabilities and we want to determine the type of interview so في عنا types of interview في عنا the guided interview في عنا the yes and no response interview we have the conversational interview um, okay we have open ended interview فكل وحده لها advantage صح ولا كان طيب so اول وحده بتكون based on a standard set of questions ال fixed بتكون numbered answers ال conversational بتكون يعني ممكن ناخد منها information ما ما بنحصل عليها في انواع تانية ال open ended يعني it's discussing different issues so how do we conduct the interview we establish a productive environment so من شوف ال environment و تانيا من من خلي ال interviewee at ease during the introduction okay so من نسأله أول إشي أول إشي factual questions وين مكتوب السنة Okay, use various question types to elicit required response. Uh, okay, so so إحنا بدنا أول شيء نختار مكان كويس نعمل introduction كويسة عشان نخلي ال interview at ease و و و نفهمه إنه there's a there's a privacy policy and we have to use various types of questions في عنا knowledge questions uh, to better understand security controls وفي عنا behavioral questions to understand how security controls are implemented and operated and uh, opinion questions uh, solicit solicit judgment regarding a specific security control يعني what they think about a security control we also want to arrange the question order so fact-based questions first and familiar questions first regarding the present and carefully word questions 
uh, we want to use standard terminology and st straightforward questions and we have to show no emotion and we have to show appreciation we have to be patient and we have to provide transitions what are the interview issues so the documentation uh, notes should be compiled and reviewed by the team ASAP and flexibility so um, the team's understanding of the security controls requires a lot of time uh, the topics and questions asked in the interview should depend on the findings from other activities so flexibility is an issue and questionnaire preparation is also an issue and documenting the interview is an issue okay ليش the questionnaire is an issue لانه uh, some of them are pre-developed but the team should consider the approach style format طيب so خلنا نحفظهم ال flexibility اللي هدخل بال time of understanding or the topics and questions should depend on the findings of other activities uh, and we have the questionnaire preparation وهنا example questions يعني عنا ال objective تبع ال ال objective تبع ال interview uh, we have the topic تبع ال interview and then we have these are the already predefined questions طيب we have ins inspection هلا هلا خلصنا الانترفيو هلا احنا بالانسبكشن so we are in the inspection inspections are performed when security testing is not feasible okay so inspections are instead of what instead of testing and uh, Testing could disrupt the organization, okay, because we don't have a lot of time and money and all this stuff, so we inspect instead. Inspection approach is to list security controls. So we have a list coupled with a model number and the configuration information, objectives, points of contra contact, the verify information gathered through inspection. So we verify the information. Then we determine the vulnerabilities and experience team member and or checklists. We document and review findings. Kunna fil inspection. فقلنا إنه في عنا checklist أشوف uh, inspections are performed security testing is infeasible inspection approach uh, عنا list list security controls obtain list coupled with model numbers uh, configuration information objectives points of contact so I think هنا عنا objective key topics what had the had the inspection checklist? So this is not this is not what I was reading before. This is just a checklist, okay? Just a coverage. طيب هلا الobservation. 
to observe لأنه الريوت عنا observe قبل آخر إشي ال observation involves gathering information it's all about collection it's all about looking and uh, gathering information about the behavior about the implementation operation determining is it well done or not so for example we have policy and procedures we have physical security do we have any fence gaps uh, we have some security awareness. Is it is it uh, implemented? Uh, media and hard copy disposal. Examining the trash cans near printers because sometimes they can steal uh, data from the. So there is no set of guidelines to perform in, uh, the observation, but it's, it's based on specific circumstances and the environment. Finally, we have the test. Testing is performed to identify vulnerabilities in security controls. Vulnerabilities in the security controls. So we have security controls and then we test them. Are they, are they good enough or are they vulnerable? And it is important to remember that the results of security tests show the presence of already known vulnerabilities at the time of testing. That ones you are testing for. It does not show the absence of any vulnerability. Okay. Type. So testing, it, it identifies if there's a vulnerability, but it does not identify if there is not a vulnerability. So security testing can also identify vulnerabilities in organizational processes, so if the team identifies a vulnerability that could have been patched a few months ago, this indicates that the procedures for implementing patches are ineffective. Uh, so we have the security testing documentation. So we have minimum elements in testing documentation. We have to have the time and the tools used, and the tester, who's that tester, and the system, systems and interfaces tested, what are the results, and the comments, okay. And now we want the coverage of testing, <clears throat> coverage. So it's exhaustive, coverage is hard to determine, too many interfaces and variables are involved. But with a thoughtful selection of the testing coverage, test security testing can be effective and efficient. So we have the represent, oh, okay, selection of the testing coverage. Khalnam um, is sampling in security uh, testing. So Anna, when is sampling? Sampling in security testing. So we have these two slides, slides eight and nine. Uh, actually, eight, nine, and seven, seven, eight, and nine. So these are the security testing uh, approaches. Um, uh, we might use representative testing, or we might use selected sampling. Oops. Selected sampling. Or we might use uh, random sampling. All of these are uh, making sure that the coverage of the security testing is uh, done correctly. Okay. When all components of an information technology infrastructure are tested, it's called complete testing. So it identifies vulnerabilities in network components, but testing is expensive. What are the types of testing? Oh, this is the last slides. Yay, yay, yay. We have the accuracy testing, information accuracy testing. Uh, we verify the accuracy of the data gathered within other stages of the assessment. 
uh, verify ac accuracy of the data gathered and we cross check information from interviews network diagrams and policies so i guess cross check information means to find any inconsistencies then we have vulnerability testing so it identifies vulnerabilities in the current deployed system without causing a breach to the security of the system so vulnerability testing does not cause a breach it applies to physical con security controls finally we have the penetration testing it exploits vulnerabilities also but it may lead to breach and security it applies to physical security controls الحمد لله خلصنا